Hello, and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Now, in today's lesson, we're going to go over how to make uh, a glass sphere. Now, before we begin, like always, I'm going to start with some news. Uh, I've said this a lot of times, but if you don't already know, uh, I'm going to be releasing a Blender DVD first one's going to be on making a character in Blender, and that'll be coming out real soon. So if you're interested uh, in that, just send me a private message on YouTube or uh, message me on form.nistic.com, where you can also receive support and help from these tutorials and post your renders. Okay, well, let's get started on our tutorial here. Now, we start with our default cube. Uh, what we're going to do, we're actually going to use this. And we're going to hit S. And we're going to type in the number 10. And hit Enter. It's going to be real big. So, what we're going to do, so we can see what we're doing, we're going to hit the Z key. And then I'll tell you why I did this. Basically, um, this is going to be kind of like a room we're, we're going to put a UV sphere in the center. And if I was um, not to put this big old box um, kind of around the camera and the light source, then when you rendered the uh, reflective little glass here, you're going to see um, all the other uh, stuff around. So it's just going to be blue like the background is by default. So, I kind of made this box uh, 10 times bigger with S, type in 10, enter. And so, it's kind of a room now. And then we're going to hit space, uh, add, mesh, UV sphere. And correct those values if they don't say 32, 32, 1. Hit OK. And hit tab. Go back into object mode. Uh, let's make this, what, 3 times bigger? It might be too big, but... Let's test it in the camera by going to View, Camera. Mm. Let's hit S and drag it down and put in point 0.8. I think that's just a bit better size so we can see it. So now after uh, we did that, we have a little UV sphere in the center and the little uh, box or room. Now we're going to go down here to materials, add a new material, and we're going to add ray mirror and ray transparency. So these two basically make it kind of reflective and transparent there. So we increase ray mirror to, let's say, uh, 0.3, uh, increase the depth a little bit on these two. Put it at like five, that's good enough. And the increase the IOR to let's say about one point five one. Seems about right. And the IOR basically uh, kinda skews it up a get a bit so you can actually see that the object is there. And then we're gonna change the alpha and we're just gonna put that at zero. So, if you can see the preview here, you can see that it's just kind of, kind of glassy there, and we're going to render this and see how it looks. So, just hit F12, and um, we have little, little faces that we can see, and I don't know if you can see this well or not, but it's uh, very transparent, and then... Uh, in the back here, we have our our room kind of looking thing. Okay, and so it's just about done rendering here, but we can see that we have our little sphere, and it's reflective. You can kind of see the other side of the 
room there, and a little shadow here. So, I mean, it's just something kind of big to me. It looks like a little bit of a bead because it has all those faces on it. So, I think it'd be a good idea just to go ahead and smooth it out, which should only take two seconds. So, I'm going to stop in mid-render um, by hitting Escape. And then I'm just going to simply go back to the Blender window. Go to the editing. You can also hit F9 and do set smooth. That's all we really have to do. And then. Okay, now it's completely rendered, and now we can see um, the kind of glass looking sphere here all smoothed out with its nice little shadow there. So, um, this was just a basic tutorial, and. I hope this helped you um, in learning how to make kind of a glass effect in Blender. Uh, you don't have to apply this just to a UV sphere. This can also go for a cube, um, a plane, or a cone, or even... Here's a little fun thing to try. Try making the monkey uh, glass. So, have fun with that, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. But don't forget to go to form.nistic.com and just post any questions or show off your renders. And also, uh, don't forget to hit that little subscribe button, that big orange button, uh, so you don't miss any uh, more new tutorials. Well, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye, guys.